Hi, I'm Chris and I'm from FastCads and I'm going to be showing you how I do CAD plans for traffic management. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing some uh, videos on CAM planning in the traffic management industry. I've been doing CAM plans for a number of years now and I'd like to share with you how I go about doing this. Now, not everyone does CAM planning the same. Uh, you'll find your own way of doing things and I'd just like to show you the way I do it. Uh, if you like my content, please subscribe and smash that like button. And you'll get notified when I upload more videos. Also, if you'd like to support me and my channel in making more great content. I mean, I don't trust banks, but I do like crypto. So, buy me a coffee. I'll leave me wallet details in the description below. Now, all that's being said, let's go. This is the first uh, part in the series, and it's more of an intro. I mean, today we're going to be looking at... Um, all the tools and resources you need to be able to do this job. Now the first thing you're going to need is Bricks CAD. Um, you'll get that when you purchase corn. Let's have a look here. And you go over to corn, you know, give me a ring or contact them via email, speak to Tony, he's a good chap. Uh, as you see here, standalone corn 11 is £1,950 and you get Bricks CAD Lite with that. I'm not sure what version it is now but I got mine a while back, I'm still on version 17. Now when you first get your corn package you'll have to install it on your own PC and like your corn 11 it's like a it's like a plug-in or a and add on to Bricks CAD itself and then you'll install that and you see all these toolbars that I've got set up here you just set them up however you will however you want them uh, just right click on somewhere up there and click here you've got all your toolbars down here and you can add on whatever you want and this this is just how I, how I, how I like it set up I like to see all my signs nice and big it just makes it easier and whatever makes it faster for you you've got, you've got to be fast in this game now what I do what I've done I've downloaded all the reference books that I need and I've put in a library folder um, books you're going to need this one's like what they call the pink book you're going to need this for your traffic light setups. You scroll down here. It's got all your timings. It's got your red timings and your green timings. Now a lot of clients ask for this per drawing, so I su suggest you need this and download it. I'll put a link in the description below. Something else you're going to need is safety at Streetworks. computer was slow today now this is the red book <laughs> latest version this is this is your bible you're going to need this well you're going to need everything I tell you you're going to need this has got all your your setups your safety zones all stuff you're going to need for planning page 53 normally gives you distances what type of traffic management you can use and back page well next to back page these are all, all your, your tape lengths uh, all stuff you're going to need obviously I've got uh, my chapter 8 it's 1, 2 and 3 
these are more for more for reference if you're struggling to work out what you need to do it's always good to have information with you you got track train parts one part two and part three I would suggest reading through them, but they are a long read. And mainly, they're there for reference more than anything. You've got your TSRGD. It's all your regulations. You're going to need this if you do some work down in London. The Traffic Management Handbook. They like to have the footways a bit wider, a bit safety for pedestrians, cyclists, and everything you need is generally in this book if you're doing work down London. NHSS 12D, that's the sector scheme that we work to if you're on small works. I mainly do small works, so I'm not so bothered about high speed. everything that we should be complying to is in there that's about it on the, the book front other tools you're going to need Google Earth now Google Earth I use this for everything uh, I use it more more than maps uh, it's got a you can use a scale legend if you want to transfer the map to the CAD program it measures distances up better for me and I just find it a lot easier to use um, other, other things you're going to need mainly on internet grid reference finder basically you type in your postcode you click on it it's got all details and map references that you're going to need to put in maps into your CAD program. So for here, I know I need tile SO 9785. I mean, I'll show you this when I'm actually doing drawings. Um, but grid reference finder is brilliant. A lot of people are now starting to ask, asking for what three words they're on there. In this case, it's case highs chains. Uh, some people also ask for a QR code. You click on a QR code. And you, you can put that into your drawing as well. Uh, I do use Google Maps. But main thing that I use it for is for bus reference IDs. You click on your bus uh, stop. And you've got your stop ID there. And like, if you're closing that bus stop you can tell them which bus stop it is you're closing um, now I've used Ordnance Survey I download all these types of maps mainly for road closures uh, it's a different style for doing temporary traffic management such as lights but these are, these are good for road closures and then uh, you're going to need Adobe Acrobat some people like them printed out in PDF. Yeah, another tool you can use is Screen Hunter. Yeah, this is great for capturing your screen. So basically, I like to have the scale legend, which is at the bottom there. Yeah, tick it on. Want to view? your scale legend is there just make sure it's ticked and it'll be on it'll show on your map there now if I want to capture this screen I just press F6 make sure it's in the top left corner and I can get that to scale down at the bottom go across and it's captured my screen Uh, 
now that that's great when you want to use that actually into your CAD program and you can scale it using that scale legend there right that's about all for this uh, episode that's about all the tools and resources you're going to need catch me on my next video and we'll uh, we'll draw our, our first template and then uh, we'll work on from there bye